Hola, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for my lovely Scorpios, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Quick update. I want to let you guys know that we have now merch available. You'll be able to find that information on the description box below. <clears throat> You'll be able to find coffee mugs, hoodies, sweatshirts for this cold weather that's coming. Um, we also have t-shirts and muscle shirts for this crazy ass hot weather that we're going through right now. So anyways, you'll be able to find all of that on there. Now, moving on to your reading Scorpio, as you guys can see, we've already shuffled the cards and they're already placed uh, for time purposes. So let's jump right into your reading Scorpio. So your first card with communication, how you're going to be communicating with other people for the month of August 2018. You're coming out in your own reading Scorpio. What does this mean? This means for you that you are extremely grounded. You are very focused at the present. Uh, you do have the death card here. So the death card is a major transformation. It is the card of Scorpio as well. Transmutation is happening. A lot of you guys are stepping up or getting in long-term committed relationships. Others may be getting or looking towards getting married. Uh, for those of you guys that have been single for a very long time, um, I definitely do see a progression in regards to love and romance. So for some of you guys, you may be um, dealing with a Aquarius. For others of you, you may be dealing with um, uh, with another Scorpio like yourself. And I also do see pentacles here. So for some of you guys, it could be an earth sign, uh, Taurus, Virgo, um, and Capricorn. So again, with the death card, this is definitely a transmutation that's happening at the present. A lot, a lot of advances for you guys for the month of August, uh, as we do have the full right next to the death card. So in regards to your finances, the finances sector, uh, you have the full card. So the first three cards are major arcana, so major planet alignments that are happening at the present. A lot of progression and new beginnings for you guys. Uh, endings uh, could be a representation of being able to cut out the cords of things from the past, past relationships, um, past strained relationships like an example if you're not so close to uh, your father or your mother figure um, mend uh, sorry there's going to be some mending offenses here for the month of August again there is a lot of transmutation transformation happening um, so this could be a representation of maturity this is also a representation of um, pretty much morphing yourself into a better you Scorpio so with the full card in finances, there's definitely new beginnings for you. Uh, you may be elevated. You may be taking on a different role at work. For those of you guys that have been currently working very hard towards achieving a goal, you definitely see the projection of that or the materialization for the month of August. A lot, a lot of people getting attention uh, or giving you attention, sorry, in your business or in the company that you work for. Reputation also is going to be exploding for you guys for the month of August as the full card does promise new beginnings, but it also does signify next to your card, Scorpio, uh, that people are going to be seeing you in an ex uh, extremely different light. Um, and this could also be triggered uh, towards getting attention, um, reputation, and all of that because you do have the Aquarius card here, which is the star card. Um, so in regards to your challenge, you have the star card. There is really no challenge in the star um, other than learning to be more positive. Uh, stop worrying so much. Uh, stop doing a lot of uh, negative self-talk for you guys. Uh, I know that could be a you know bad habit that everyone has. Um, and it's, it's not so much that you're judgmental on yourself. It could just be that you try to analyze everything. Um, and in doing so, a lot of the times you can find or catch yourself doing or having that negative self-talk so try to watch that for the month of August uh, put your intentions out there what it is that you want what is it that you want to bring towards you are you working towards a project are you working towards bettering your relationship are you working towards um, whatever attainments that you're trying to do definitely reach out for them now and put effort into it because I feel that for a lot of you guys I want to say the ending of August there's going to be major changes happening in regards to residency, in regards to <clears throat> talking about moving or purchasing your first home, that type of energy. Because again, the full card and the death card does signify uh, the ending cycle of something. So it could be in every single aspect of your life in general, um, but it can also represent having faith and looking towards positive outlook 
and uh, walking towards an achievement of something of some sort. So again, very beautiful reading for you, Scorpios. Now you do have the three of swords here in your love and romance. And the three of swords doesn't necessarily mean <clears throat> doesn't necessarily mean cheating. Um, but for some of you guys, it could be that recent and the recent past could have been three months ago, could have been three years ago, uh, where you experience a uh, ending of a relationship that had to do with betrayal, uh, with cheating, third party type of energy. And I feel that for the month of August, there's going to be a lot of healing happening. This could represent that you find out um, that the partner that cheated on you or that betrayed you is currently going through the same thing that you're going through or that they're going through some type of depression. Now, I don't want to say that you, you're going to be feeling good about that, but I feel like you, there's definitely a feeling of like, you know, finally the coin has flipped. Finally, they are, they know what it's like to go through what they put me through, that type of energy. And I know Scorpio, you Scorpios are so misunderstood. Uh, you guys are very deep. You guys are, you love so deeply. And I feel that a lot of the times that can come off very different uh, to different people because everyone learns to love in a very different way. But because you guys, when you guys are in love, you give yourself completely to the relationship. You give yourself completely to your partner. A lot of the times when you go through difficulty of a breakup or something like that, you may take it very, very, like it could affect you for three years as an example, uh, versus having a, like, if your son would be in a Sagittarius or Aries, it takes you a while to get over that person, of course, but it, you bounce right back. And for Scorpios, it's almost a feeling like you're scarred. Like, uh, you have to go through that long process because you guys love that deeply. So again, it's not so much of, feeling like oh they deserve that because we're no one to judge and we're no one to say what people deserve or not but I do feel that there is a feeling of like finally like the balance the scales are coming to balance like karma is finally um teaching them a lesson so there is definitely a healing process that happens from that and this is particularly to do with those uh that have been um single based off of hurt and betrayal or cheating um now again the three of swords in the love and romance again try the best you can not to carry whatever people have done in the past do not carry that into your present relationship use the past in in the positive way to use it is to use it as lessons that you learned and learn from that and grow from that and then let it go so you can be able to like give your new partner or the person that you're currently dealing with give them a better a better version of yourself um don't carry the hurt and betrayal that was done to you in the in the next relationship um don't be so guarded don't be so uh, what's the word i'm looking for don't feel like you can't trust them um because all of this has to do with you may be put in a situation for the month of August where you're going to feel like, you know, your partner's just about had it or your partner is feeling like you're judging them based off of other people's actions. So be very careful with that and try to balance that as much as you can. Now, for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, again, like I said, the three of swords could manifest or signify, sorry, uh, signify that in the past, you haven't really connected with anyone because there was still some hurt, um, some recuperating, some healing happening with you guys. Nonetheless, I feel that you are at that point where you're ready to understand or to feel within you that you've been healed and it's time to move on. Um, so don't try to use your past experiences as excuses for why you are the way you are in the present. So what I mean by that is for those of you guys that have been single for a while and when friends ask you, you know, why are you so single, etc., don't use it as, oh, because of what I went through, I'd rather just be single and be on my own. Don't do that because what you're doing is you're preventing yourself from new beginnings here with the full card and the death card. So again, try the best to take that, uh, take those messages um, for what they are, okay? 
Now, finally, your spirit's advice is the six of pentacles. So again, we go back to what we're talking about of relationships, and this is in every single aspect of your life. Six of pentacles could represent the give and take, the balance in life, uh, the balance in finances, the balance in, um, you know, the spiritual realm. And what this card is telling you, you know, as a spirit's advice, put effort in whatever it is that you treasure and make sure to get the same in return. Uh, so this could be in relationships. If you feel that you're the one that's mostly doing uh, all the putting, all the effort, all the effort into the relationship or trying to, if you basically feel like you're the glue in the relationship, it's time to step back and allow your partner to step up to the plate. Now, if you see that it is your partner, the one that's doing the most. So what I mean by that, it could be um, when you guys argue if, if, they're the ones to try to communicate if they're the ones to try to figure out what's going on um if they're the breadwinners whatever the situation may be uh step it up a notch and you know don't take for granted all of those things that your partner does for you or your current partner is doing for you uh it's all about the give and receiving it's all about the give and take the balance again like i said so be fair with everyone be fair with yourself and be true to yourself, Scorpio. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe and we will see each other soon. Bye.